Thankfully for us, though, we're dealing with our own bout of rain, but not quite as severe as that. But wow, it's really coming down there this oh, morning. Buckets. Yeah. Yes, it is. Jan, Janelle, it's coming down pretty heavily, as you said. But thankfully, this is not severe weather. Just heavy rain moving through the region. It'll be out of here. And by the time the afternoon rolls around, it's a drier second half of the day. So this is the worst of it, but we're not completely out of the woods because just to our west, here comes system number two. And that's going to impact all day tomorrow. We zoom in, and this is a really tight zoom in, but you can see along I-95, we've been dealing with this rain pretty much all morning now. And if you're heading out the door in the next several minutes, just know there's areas of pretty heavy rain moving through Monco. We head out towards New Jersey, where rain continues to fall out towards the Jersey Shore. Burlington County seeing that heavy rain out towards Cape May County. And that's the name of the game, at least until mid-morning. That's when the system will find finally begin to pull away by 10 a.m. Our western neighborhoods are drying out and closer to one o'clock. The entire region will see drier conditions, but the clouds linger and so do these cooler temperatures. Quickly, as we approach tonight and into tomorrow morning, here comes round number two. This one promising gusty thunderstorms and not severe, but certainly gusty, impactful, heavy rain and a few gusty winds. Temperatures still in the on the cooler side in the middle 50s. And then we round out the week, a few lingering showers behind and added a chance on Saturday, Chandler.